Welcome to On The Go, I'm Mark Phillips. I'm so glad you joined me in this episode. We're gonna be talking about something vitally important to success in business and in life. I'm really excited about this topic. I think about it all the time. And this idea kind of came about because of a new project I'm working on with Mark Stinson, my collaborator, and really the idea, he brought the idea to me for a series within Enhancing Human Experience podcast titled A World of Creativity. We are interviewing creators from around the world, people in a wide variety of fields that, you know, use creativity in their day-to-day lives, business and life, and how they apply creativity, sharing best practices for being a creator, and having more success in business and life. And one of one of the things that I think about all the time when I'm thinking about creativity, I always come back to Earl Nightingale. I, also a little bit of Buckminster Fuller and his, his famous quote that he said, real wealth is ideas plus energy. But also Earl Nightingale. Earl Nightingale in his Strangest Secret, which is super awesome. I'm sure you've probably heard of it and or listened to it. But he says that all we have to do is create. All we have to do is create. Whether it's in business or life, we simply have to create. That's why I'm so excited about this series. By the way, it, we are two series or two episodes in. We've got uh, our kickoff episode where we introduce the series, but also we've got an interview with Sherry Talley. Sherry is a former broadcast journalism journalist from Shreveport, Louisiana. She shares insights and knowledge and wisdom she's gained on her career or from her career in broadcast journalism and as an artist and as a collaborator. Super good interview. You can pick those up all on Enhancing Human Experience. Uh, podcast on any of your favorite podcast players, but Earl Nightingale, you know, said all we have to do is create. Another one of his favorite quotes from the along the basis of creating and be, being a creator is he said this. He said, "Never compete, create. Never compete, create." And so, in this episode of On the Go, we're going to talk a little bit about that and why it's so vitally important for your success in business and life. And creating, you know, we are creators, right? We we know that we're creators, but there is a trap that we can fall into as human beings to fall into the competitive mode and the competitive mindset, right? We, we, We are outward focused beings. We're always, you know, all of our senses are pointed outward. All of our attention is outward and we're looking at other people and we compare ourselves, we judge ourselves, we compete almost inadvertently, just almost as like an, in an unconscious way. But as we know, and I know you've experienced this in your own life, as we know, when we create from our intuition and from our internal guidance and wisdom, right, we're going to have much better outcomes. We're going to have much better uh, results in our business and life because here's the thing. Every one of us has a direct pipeline and a direct like line of ideas that wants to come through them. And when, when each of us tune into those ideas and bring them into the world and express them in our own unique way, that's when we succeed. And that's a game no one else can play, right? I always also think about mixed martial arts. I'm sure you've seen these mixed martial arts fights and the, the announcers inevitably always say the same thing at the outset of every fight. They say, look, this fighter has certain strengths in these areas, like he's got good ground game or he's a good striker, or and this fighter has good strengths in these areas, right? And they always say, if this fighter plays their game and fights their fight, meaning plays their strengths and minimizes their weaknesses, they're going to win the fight. And as all of us, we all have that capacity in business. We all have certain aptitudes. We have certain gifts and talents. Um, If we play those talents and also when we combine them with the ideas that are coming through each of us, right, express them in their own unique way, that's when we're going to win. And so that's, that's where the real power of creativity comes from is when you're tuned in to what wants to come through you and you create in a way that respects that, that's when you're going to win. So obviously you see how powerful creativity is in the game of life and why it's so important and why I'm so excited about this series as well. 
the other thing I think about when it comes to creativity that I want to share with you in this episode of On The Go is this. There is a idea or a philosophy in branding and marketing that you should never go toe-to-toe with an established brand or an established product and try to compete with them, right? You should always comp- create a new category. And it can be slightly different, but it has to be a new category. That way, you own that category, right? And you're not going toe-to-toe with a contender, you know, or when we just talked about the martial art things, you're not going toe-to-toe with a contender and fighting their fight or fighting in their arena, right? Because they already own that sector. They own that market. They own that space in the minds of the consumers, right? So when you're bringing a new product into the world or branding yourself, which is the the most fun and the most creative thing that I think we ought, we can do, being our authentic self, being who you are meant to be and only you, like you're, everyone is unique in their own way, right? When you're being your authentic self and creating your brand and really being true to it, no one can own that brand, right? You own that category. And that's why I think it's so fascinating. Oftentimes, and I've gotten caught up in this, where we look at people out there and say, well, there's so many people doing what... I want to do where there's already so many people in this market this market saturated you know there the personalities and the characters and players are already established how will I ever get a foothold well you're never gonna get a foothold none of us will get a foothold if we try to compete with those players because again those players are impressed in the minds of consumers and and viewers and people Why would you want to compete with them? You can't compete with them, right? They tuned into their unique attributes and qualities and expressed them into the world to create their brand. You don't need to do that as well. None of us need to do that. So that's the other thing that I think about is that when you enter into the marketplace, regardless of what business that you're going into, when you show up as your authentic self and really tune into what makes you different and unique, it's all about the differentiation, isn't it? what makes you different and unique, and then really exploit that in your content or your business in whatever way, shape, or form, things are going to get really super awesome, right? And things are going to, you're going to have a much better experience in your business and more like positive outcomes and results when that happens. So that's what's really exciting. And that's what I want to share in this episode of On The Go. I hope this has been helpful and I hope it reminds you Don't compete, create. And that is advice from the great, late Earl Nightingale, specifically coming from his The Strangest Secret book and audio CD. If you haven't listened to it lately, I encourage you to listen to it again. It's super good and really solid wisdom in there. So thanks for tuning into this episode of On The Go. I really do appreciate it. As you may or may not know, you can always find all these episodes on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash gmarkphillips. While you're there, consider subscribing for episodes of On The Go, also episodes of Enhancing the Human Experience, and vlog posts. So you can find all that on my YouTube channel. Once again, I really do appreciate you for listening and tuning in. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.